Welcome back to Western New York Living and the Big Wack Radio Local Business Spotlight segment. All right, I know none of you watching right now are going out today and planning on getting into an accident, but unfortunately accidents happening and knowing your rights as a driver and passenger are very important. That's why we're happy to have with us this morning from Salino Law, Attorney Greg Pajak. Greg, good to see you again. Great to be here. Uh, now, some folks may have, you know, a minor accident and think there's no reason to see a doctor. When should folks see a doctor if they are involved in an, an automobile accident? Well, clearly, if you feel that you have an injury, meaning you feel pain, you feel discomfort, you feel some kind of limitation of motion, you should get checked out. There are plenty of urgent cares around, those immediate cares around. You can always go to the emergency room or you can go to your family doctor. But if you feel that you're injured, absolutely get checked out. What happens if you feel it the next day? There's an old saying, oh, it's worse this, the, the next day. What happens if you, you're feeling symptoms a day later? That's very typical because quite frankly, that adrenaline rush when you're in the motor vehicle accident is running. So your blood is pumping, you're feeling halfway decent. That's what adrenaline does. And then when that eventually wears off, mm -hmm. the next day you can feel the injury or even the day after that. But the moment you feel any kind of sense that things are not right, you should absolutely get checked out. All right, if you have an issue or continue experiencing, how often should you go? Whatever the doctors say. Um, it's not, a, I mean, I'm an attorney, I'm not a physician. And if your doctor says to go three times a week to physical therapy, you should do that. If your chiropractor says twice a week, you should do that, or whatever the physician or medical provider tells you. Who covers, let's get, let's get to the nitty gritty part now, who covers the payments um, you know, those, for those doctor visits, the therapy, specialists, what have you? And quite honestly, that is the question that most people uh, ask themselves right at the very beginning. Am I going to get stuck with a large number of medical bills? And generally the answer is no. If you're injured in a motor vehicle accident in the state of New York, you are covered under what is called no fault. That is a mandatory program that every insurance company must have, auto insurance company must have in the state of New York. And your no fault insurance company is your own automobile company. So if you're in your own car, you're covered under that policy's no fault. If I'm in your car, I'm covered under your no fault. And that is the insurance co company that's going to pay for your medical care, diagnostics, physical therapy, chiropractic care, and if worse comes to worse, any surgeries and things like that. So that's why you shouldn't um, deny a, a ride in the ambulance, trip, not, right? It's covered. It is covered. It is covered under your no fault. There's no deductibles. There's no copay. The bill goes directly to the no fault insurance company and you are covered. How does seeking that treatment help if, you know, if you're going to bring a case and then they talk to you and you're bringing it, how does that help uh, make the case, if you will? Well, it directly drives the case because when you talk about being compensated for your injuries, the insurance company on the other side that you're hoping to get your settlement from is going to look at the nature and extent of your injuries. So obviously the more extensive your medical treatment, the more frequent uh, and intensive your uh, it, treatment is, that is going to indicate to that insurance company that you have a more significant injury. For example, if you go to the doctor two times versus somebody who goes to a doctor, therapist, chiropractor for a year and a half, it's common sense that the person that had more treatment has a more significant injury than someone who only went a couple of times. And a doctor can also let you know if you're going to need continued treatment, which that's what they're there for. They tell you looking into the future what you're going to need. All right, important information for sure there, and there's certainly more questions you may have. That's why the personal injury attorneys at Salino Law represent injury victims throughout New York State. If you've been involved in any type of personal injury, including an auto accident, Salino Law can help. Their officers are located at 800 Delaware Avenue in Buffalo, and for more information, give Salino Law a call. Easy to remember, 888-888-8888. You can also head to their website, salinolaw.com, to learn more about all the different services that Salino Law provides.